Ah, would you look at that. What a beautiful sunrise here in Utah. And it is about 6.30 in the morning. This view never gets old. Oh, as you know, last episode, we moved here from the Midwest. Had to run down to get some coffee to start this early morning because we have an awesome client coming in today. Well, with a pretty special request. Let's hop in my awesome classic Barstow RS with the 353. Not the super desirable one with the big block 423, but uh, this thing still scoots and is reliable with the 353. And this is my cruiser. Yes, I'm not all about trucks. I have room for <laughs> some fun cars, uh, mostly muscle when, when I have the need. Let's go ahead and get in and fire this baby up. Oh yeah, she purrs. She sounds real good. And uh, at 6.30, there's not many people out, so I'll lay down a quick donut real quick before uh, we get in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta have fun in an old car like this. Oh, and she lays some patches down. Real good. Four-speed manual lays down a long patch in second gear. All right, all right. So you know our shop and dealers up here, our dealer has been going great. If you were wondering, we have been flying off the shelves. Our grand opening went really well, and you won't recognize anything that's here right now. Uh, but I tell you what, we're gonna park this. I'll show you around real quick. I don't have much on the lot, but I do have stuff in transit, so don't worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and park this guy back here. Right here is about good. Put it, leave it in gear. All right, let's get out. Oh, what a crisp morning. How about that thing, huh? Looks really good. All right, moving on. Don't pay attention to that van just yet. I will tell you what this is about. No, we aren't getting our cable worked on. We are getting something else. If you notice, it has California plates. But yeah, right now we have a stock hopper, the Dune Edition. These are really good used vehicles, very popular. Someone can take this and enjoy it with the doors off and the top off. Today would be a great day to just cruise around in this thing, or if they really wanted, it is a great platform to make a off-road monster out of. But uh, there's very capable stock in very fun vehicles, so that should have no problem with selling. We have sold a couple stock ones already, and our beloved black Gavril in the showroom was just sold the other day. We got a lot of offers on that and uh, ended up getting a lot of money. That was a very good truck. Basically a collector's item and someone will be really happy. But with this one, look at this monster. This is one of the old Gavril Charos with the top removed and back. You got the shorty bed and it's all exposed. Uh, you could make this street legal if you wanted. This is more of a trailer it and have fun uh, mudding you know, rocking the canyons. You can kind of go anywhere in this. And uh, just an obscene truck with gigantic tires. Extremely wide. So uh, that thing shall go to somebody's home soon. But sure looks good propped up in front of our canyon auto here. So uh, if we go over here, yes, this boring looking Beamcom cable van. You're, what am I doing hanging around this? Well, this is the star of the show today. We have somebody that is from California and got a really good deal, purchased a used fleet truck like this, a fleet cargo van that was, well, obviously a old Beamcom van. And these are a dime a dozen. This was probably worked really hard to the bone, I imagine. It does have high miles, but uh, the tried and true 5.5 liter V8 is in there. We'll see if she runs good. And they want an off-road build with this. And they told me specifically, leave the paint job. So they want the Beamcon colors, the logo. So uh, they kind of want a little head turner, you know. Most people think, oh, look at that work van. And then they'll think, oh, wait, that's a retired work van that's totally pimped out for off-roading. So uh, I like the creativity, kind of a funny idea. And hey, they're a paying customer. We'll do it for them. We're going to come up with something really cool you wait and see. The only repair work we'll have to do is right here. The sun's not in this side, but if you'll notice, the door's a little bit dented up, so that's no big deal. There's doors for these everywhere. We can get that fixed or replaced rather cheaply, and then the rest is fun. But yeah, without further ado, 
Let's go ahead and hop in this, pull it into the garage, and let's get to work on this thing. Beamcom off-road build starts now. And wow, this has higher miles than I thought. I think we're looking at 214,000. Good God, this is a work van for sure. <laughs> but these things are very tough and easy to get parts for. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull it in the garage and we are gonna work some off-road magic at Canyon Auto. Alrighty, so we are here in the shop. Please uh, don't mind the mess. We are doing business in here, man. We're doing work, so. <laughs> One more look at this beam van before we totally transform it. I can tell you right away that those running boards are probably gonna go. Uh, our client, I think, is definitely active enough to uh, be able to hop in there without too much issue. Let's look at uh, what we got inside, what we're working with. Oh yeah, these are nice and big inside. Man, maybe we can rig up some, some cool kind of overlanding kit in here, you know? Have Ability to have bedding, some cooking in here, camping gear, maybe some shelving. That'd be really cool. There's so much you can do with these vans. I can see why they're getting popular for various reasons. But uh, let's go ahead and start stripping what we don't need and adding some cool stuff. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a navigation system. This guy's going to kind of go all around and wants to be able to go anywhere. And he's got a big budget. You know, I'm, I'm guessing... This build isn't going to be too crazy. It's not totally custom like some clients you will see in the future, but uh, this probably is going to be around, I'd say, a seven to $10,000 job here. So first, let's take those running boards off as well. Let's get those out of here. Oh, yeah, that looks much better already. And we don't want those in the way when we're off-roading. And we're definitely going to give him a vented hood. So... What this does is if he's off-roading in the desert and it's getting pretty hot, anything you can do to help let that engine breathe and cool off, uh, you certainly want to do. So this is kind of something we do that's very popular on vehicles that will be used off-road in hot environments. And um, we put go ahead and put some steel mesh behind there so it keeps anything bad out, but it definitely lets some air through and helps keep the engine cool when you need it. And then we're going to go ahead and hook this guy up with a heavy duty radiator because you know this is higher miles i think it will run very well still and uh like my point before this is running off road not going high speed not getting a lot of airflow you want a good radiator so this thing can keep you happy on the trails and not have to worry about anything uh, annoying like overheating tail light guards yes he does want these so we're going to go ahead and Throw on some black ones. We don't want chrome on a work van like this. <laughs> black just makes sense. It's more rugged and more off-roady, for lack of a better term. And those look pretty good. Not going to lie. Very nice. And we are going to go ahead and switch this guy's roof rack for a cargo basket. So this is definitely more up the alley of overlanding and off-roading. So... Yeah, he can put multiple things in there, tie down a lot, and uh, just kind of looks the part. So just these couple things that aren't even anything yet already is making this van look a little more legit. How about that? Let's get into the nitty gritty now. Let's get in some, some real good stuff. So yeah, we're going to definitely change his front bumper out. He wants off-roading. He wants some protection from wildlife. Should he come across something on the road, you want to be protected and you want some tough bumper up front just in case you do run into some trees or bushes at low speed you want off all the help you can get so to look the part and well feel the part we're definitely adding that nice off-road bumper with the bars up front looks very good we have a lot of different styles of these but i think this one looks particularly good on this vehicle and he is gonna get an antenna as well in case he wants to run cb also, just uh, for the look, whatever he may use it for, we will have that there. And then, of course, in back, might as well make it symmetrical. We got the off-road rear bumper in back. Nice iron plating, 3 8 inch thick, so it's nice and tough. And, of course, we got his plate in the back. Very, very cool. That looks a lot better. He said keep the toe hitch so he can mess with that, take that off, or keep it if he wants. That is not for us to decide, so that looks fine there. As for the engine, we are not going to mess with the engine too much. He said keep the engine. That's how he's keeping the 
build cost a little low it's not totally overhauled like we're redoing the whole van so he is using this high mile engine but you know what it starts fine it runs fine they are tough so might as well milk it while while it runs he may get another hundred thousand out of it and uh, if he wants to swap it down the road he can certainly do that we are going to put a sport intake on there for him and a better ecu so this way it'll wake it up a little bit you know maybe a little bit of horsepower measurable horsepower nothing crazy but enough to possibly wake it up enough and certainly help it feel a little more peppy when we're running these bigger wheels and the customer does state that the exhaust wants to be remained pretty quiet so we'll go ahead and keep the stock system on there it's high clearance enough no problems there and this way it won't be crazy loud some people don't want them all loud and uh, i don't blame them there now something we are messing with is a transfer case so we don't want rear wheel drive he wants four wheel drive so this is where a little bit of the budget comes in kind of expensive but he's going with a four wheel drive transfer case luckily these gavril h series and the d series trucks are very interchangeable they're essentially sister platforms and can be shared we go ahead and swap in a four wheel drive transfer case from a gavril three quarter ton truck that fits in there great bolts are right up now he has four wheel drive and he does want a rear locker so with the front he'll be open diff but we'll go ahead and put that rear locker in there as well and we have a nice heavy duty torque converter for him we're going to definitely go ahead and put that locking rear diff in there for him now he has ability to lock the rear wheels and for most off-road excursions that is all you need if you're going somewhere totally crazy where you kind of know you shouldn't you know that's when you need everything you can get big tires front and rear lockers but this client will be getting into situations like this so the locking rear diff is definitely more than enough and a good reassurance that you will be able to get out of wherever you are in and of course we are definitely going with off-road rear shocks as well as off-road leaf spring that is only natural because we are an off-road shop and he wants an off-road build pretty self-explanatory sway bars we're not going to need and we're going to go ahead and do the front suspension and this is where some of the money comes in as well we're definitely going with an off-road independent we're getting rid of that beam axle so there we go and now he has a beefed up in ifs system and this should work pretty good this is also from the gavril series trucks and we're definitely throwing in some off-road coilovers and sway bar for them as some strength and drive shafts and half shafts off-road steering box as well so this guy is getting a good deal and yes of course power steering all right so there is a look at it so far no it is not done yet but we have overhauled the underneath that's for sure so we have put in a four-wheel drive transfer case and of course off-road suspension got the nice independent suspension in front which should ride really well and definitely play the part that he needs for off-roading alrighty and back to the build now is the fun part so brakes are gonna stay the same he's not gonna do any crazy high-speed maneuvers or anything so the brakes should be good enough the brakes are pretty beefy in front I mean it is a work truck it is a work van and they build them pretty decent uh, their fleet vehicles anyway so those should be fine uh, now to the wheels and tires so so our customer did say that he likes the trial brand of wheels and I think it'd be safe to assume that black would work with this color scheme so we're, so we're throwing on some 17 by 9 trial 250 off-road wheels and then of course for tires well we have tons of tires in stock uh, but we don't want to run too big because a we don't have a lot of flexing room being that the van body is you know a little bit on there more than a abishu hopper or even the pickup trucks there's just not as much flexing room and uh he's not gonna be going crazy with it but uh we want to look good still so we also don't want to make that engine turn too hard because we're not dealing with super high horsepower here or anything or uh crazy gearing either so i think we're gonna stick with 35s on this it should be able to turn those just fine and we are gonna go with thorn tracks thorn tracks make some great tires and they perform well and just look at how that looks that looks excellent looks really really good so we're gonna go ahead and do that on the fronts as well just take a look at this van now wow this is really coming along we got the vented hood the awesome bumper in front and the and these really aggressive wheels 35s look good on there they look proportional so it doesn't look crazy big but it doesn't look too small either 
this these cargo vans are big so they kind of make 32s or 33s look kind of small and uh, I think this will be just enough for what he wants this was not a crazy expensive build but should perform decent for what it is and definitely transformed this Beamcom cargo work van into well a surprisingly handsome off-road build let's go ahead and get in and see how she drives all right and get a look at it outside you can see the scale a little better out here this thing <laughs> looks amazing i have to say for a what i would call for this shop a mild build dang does it look good i actually like it i'm glad he decided to leave paint job on there i think that's hilarious people will definitely double take on the road like whoa wait beamcom that thing what where are they installing cable in the middle of the jungle or what <laughs> that thing looks awesome it's got some good height to it these vans just have a presence like wow it's big you know looks really really good let's go ahead and hop in make sure everything is nice and straight make sure it drives good has enough power to turn these and uh, make sure there's no issues so let's hop on up and yes we are missing the running boards like i said earlier looks better without them but boy is this thing tall so uh, we'll see what they think when they pick it up and wow we are up here you can tell we are up here when you sit in this thing but wow oh wow does it actually feel good oh yeah not bad at all I'm not even flooring it at all giving it about half throttle and it's moving under its own weight just fine and we're not going to take turns too fast we are obviously not carving corners in a van like this okay so let's go ahead and test real quick if for low works i mean it should it does definitely feels like for low should so that's good to know and let's go ahead and see if their rear locker works as well so we're going to go ahead and lock the rear end and well just see if it does a burnout with both wheels and that's a yes sir yes it does awesome <laughs> and it can spin those wheels in four low so that's pretty impressive glad to know that our power plant our high mile power plant here is still in good health and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it in four-wheel drive and yes we're gonna see if it can climb this this is uh, pretty hard so I'm not gonna be disappointed if it doesn't but you never know let's see how capable this thing is not bad you know what not bad at all it made it up to the top almost I think we can get it with a little bit of momentum and to be in an X work van turned off rotor I mean this thing's big and heavy so that is very impressive if it gets up here and it is it is getting up here wow all righty so if that doesn't prove to you the kind of work we do at canyon auto i don't know what does we just climbed that very visibly steep cliffside in a beamcom cable van how about a transformation from well me and the boys at canyon auto i am super proud of this build Let's go back to the shop and wait for the customer to come and see how they like it. Alrighty, and coming up to the shop there. Gonna hang a U-turn here. Yeah, it has a decent radius. So yeah, everything on this van turns out pretty good. And we're gonna go ahead and pull it up here and we're gonna wait. We are done with this build. I am super thrilled about it. Let's go ahead and shut it down and get on out. And just take a look take a last look at that thing I really really like it I like how that turned out <laughs> very nice very nice gotta admit I did not know beforehand what it would be like but uh, I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm definitely proud of this build thing looks mean you got a hand to it alrighty and with that the customer was very happy he loves the way it looks and uh, is exactly what he pictured. So another win for Canyon Auto. That's just what I want to hear is my customers happy and that I put into reality their vision for their off-road vehicle. So I'm very happy. Original creativity on this build. 
a Beamcom cargo van turned into off-road monster. I love it. And uh, you really can't argue with the results. He is leaving right now, by the way. He said he's going to go waste no time. He's going to enjoy the trails. As he peels off there, he's going to enjoy the trails in Utah before he heads on back to California. So I'm very excited to hear that. Hope it goes well on the road trip for him. It certainly should. And uh, another project done at Canyon Auto. Well, sunset is approaching. I'm going to go ahead and close up the shop for the night. Uh, but most importantly for you, please let me know how you enjoyed this. And uh, this was the first build of the Canyon Auto shop that's attached to our dealership right over there. So uh, very cool. Please let me know down below what you would like to see from Canyon Auto. Some more inventory for the dealership that we sell. Some more custom builds. Certainly let me know down below. It helps out so much. And uh, I know the last video did very well. So thank you guys for that. Do the right thing. Like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Helps me out so much. Dislike it. Thumbs down if you hated it. And of course, subscribe for daily BeamNG content. Crash Doctor TV, signing out.